Meanwhile, Hirem, as the capital city of Bangladesh continues to be roiled with demonstrations by the supporters of the opposition Bangladesh Nationalist Party, the U.S. has now expressed concerns over the instability and political violence in the country. Right, absolutely. We've covered this as well. In response to the current political turbulence, the United States State Department spokesperson, Matthew Miller, has now urged Bangladesh to create a safe environment for people to peacefully assemble and for all parties to refrain from violence and harassment. You're concerned about the reports of intimidation and political violence in Bangladesh surrounding this weekend's political protests. We encourage the government of Bangladesh uh, uh, to investigate reports of violence, violence thoroughly, transparently and impartially and to hold the perpetrators of violence to account. We urge Bangladesh to create a safe environment for people to peacefully assemble and voice their concerns. And we call on all parties uh, to respect fundamental freedoms and the rule of law and to refrain from violence, harassment and intimidation. And I will say finally that free and fair elections depend on the commitment of everyone, voters, political parties, youth wings and police and cannot take place in an, envi in an environment with political violence. Now, apart from this, 14 U.S. lawmakers have written to the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations about the demonstrations in the South Asian country. In the letter to the ambassador, Linda Thomas, the lawmakers urged the organization to take cognizance of the unrest. They also call for the deployment of UN peacekeeping forces during the next general election. The opposition party has been calling for Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina to step down ahead of the next election due in January 2024. The opposition also urged elections to be held under a neutral caretaker government, a demand that her government has rejected. According to reports, the Bangladesh security forces fired rubber bullets, tear gas at the protesters of the opposition party on Friday. And the critics argue that Prime Minister Hasina has maintained tight control over people in the country who are against her ever since coming to power in 2009. Her administration has been accused of cracking down on free speech and also suppressing dissent and her critics. The former Prime Minister Khalida Zia was jailed in 2018 on graft charges. Since then, the main opposition party has been holding protest rallies which have gained traction in the recent months. 